sometimes it's really helpful to have content repeat throughout your site. Uh, for example, you may want the contact information uh, on a, every page of your site on a, in a sidebar area. You might want some content down here in the footer area to be consistent throughout the entire site. Sidebar and footer widgets are really, really great for that. And I'd like to show that to you today here with this screencast. You go to the back end of your website, underneath the appearance section, you'll find something called widgets. Now this page probably looks really, really confusing and overwhelming at first, but it actually works very simply. You drag and you drop content into place. So as an example, this page widget area is shown all the way throughout our site. The contact page looks different because it's using a different widget area, but here on this testimonials page, we're using that page widget. Here on the Press Center page, we are using that page widget. It repeats throughout the site. So if we wanted to change some of the content on that page widget, this is a text widget, and we just go ahead and update it here. Changing content. And let's go ahead and click on Save. When you get your site, you're going to automatically have widgets pre-populated in there and you can just update those or you can add your own. But if you refresh the widget here, you see that 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 information changes over there. Go back to the testimonials page, it changed there. So uh, things update automatically. Now you can also take different types of elements and put them in those page widget areas. It doesn't necessarily have to be text. The footer area of our website is a great example of this. If you look down in the footer area of the demo website, you'd see a social media icon section. There's a section with tweets. We haven't tweeted in 74 days on the, the, <laughs> the main company uh, Twitter. Uh, so you can have a, a list of all of your tweets there. There's a lot of flexibility that comes along with it. I'll show you how to change the footer area. On the right hand side, you'll see that you've got one, two, three, four, five, six different footer areas. But on the front end, there's only three. That's because when our demo site is set up, we're only going to give you three. If you want multiples or more than that, we can set that up throughout the customization process. Uh, you just let us know. Because we're only using three, we would only populate the first three sections. And you see here, the first three sections have information in it. Let's say we wanted to add a search bar to the first footer widget area, and we want the search bar to be above anything that comes after it. Uh, we could take it and put it in there, click on Save. So now it's in there. You've got three different uh, widgets in that widget area. If we want it to be on top, we just drag it and drop it there and go to the front end and test it and make sure that it works out properly. And if we refresh it, we see that now we have a search box there. And it's fully functional. And if we had any elements throughout that site that had the word search in it, in it, it would return those search results. So you can see, uh, you can add just about anything there that you want to, the options are really limitless. Uh, search boxes, content for, contact forms, images, links to the other pages. Uh, it's, it's pretty flexible. Thanks so much for joining us for this screencast and please be sure to join us for other screencasts so you can see for yourself what makes the incredible editable website so incredible.